people sort scrum developer module 2 collaboration and team dynamics as part of this topic we will discuss basics of team and we will also discuss about the collaboration within the team so these are the two topics which will be discussed as part of this module module 2 collaboration and team dynamics team basics so let's evaluate the difference between a working group versus a team so we will try to segregate the difference between working group and team based on various attributes of leadership processes work product focus accountability and how the meaning of these two changes. So looking about the work group. So work group is a collection of mutually independent individuals with separate goals who share information and resources. So that's a definition of a working group. A team is more of a interdependent group of individual who are focused on common goals, ensuring there is a self-management and there is a shared responsibility. So few things which is different in working group and team is, first, this is having a common goal. The working group have a separate goals. Also, in working group, they just share the information and resources, but then responsibilities are independent in team they also share the responsibilities talking about the leadership style in working group there is only one leader in team there can be a shared leadership so shared leadership means that if any member is working in x set of circumstances he should or he can demonstrate the leadership points of leading the team that's welcome to do in certain circumstances someone else can can demonstrate those capabilities so that's an element of a team if it is a working group working group usually have one leader and if there are any kind of conflicts it's the leader who basically helps in resolving those conflict by amicably talking to all the people in the working group. Processes. So what are the elements which are followed in working group? So usually there are discussions which happens in working group. Then once the various individual uh, team members have or individual people have discussed the situation, they decide what needs to be done and in the end they delegate that work how it can be done so the processes which happen in working group is discuss decide and delegate whereas in team they discuss the situation they decide it and finally they jointly take actions to do those things so the processes are discuss decide and doing wherever in working group it is discuss decide and delegate if you talk about the work product uh, in working group it is the individual responsibility and in the in the team it is the collective responsibility for work products if you talk about the focus uh, in working group it's the individual goals which the working group is more focused on and in the case of a team they work on a shared goal in terms of accountability a working group have individual who are accountable so each and every individual is accountable but then in case of the team it's a mutual accountability so everyone have a dependency there is an inter interdependency within the group so the accountability lies within the team so there cannot be an individual single person accountable 